back to those questions that we were asking earlier is this the subject of finding a relationship and keeping it which is sort of the practical human approach or is this the subject of life giving you information and helping you to know what you really want what's the real subject is this the subject of finding the perfect person right away or is this the subject of creating the perfect relationships through life experience creating the relationship this feels like it's been taking a really long time okay. <laughs> can you remember what you said when you first sat down here the first words out of your mouth trauma or something I before said that trying to trying to work through that before that it's a blur now <laughs> you said something about I've been on my way to this chair for a long time oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. do you manifesting. remember that yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah what did you say yeah I've been really wanting to manifest being able to sit in this chair yeah wow that's awesome wow. and I so yeah you've been really wanting to manifest a relationship you've really been wanting to manifest alignment with your inner being too things are always working out for you and it's hard to accept when you're looking at something where things feel missing it's hard to accept that this thing that I think I don't want is the path of least resistance to what I do want it's hard to accept that but it's always true this thing that looks like it's turning out in a way that makes me feel embarrassed or like a failure or we're being more dramatic about this than you're really feeling but this thing and the way it's turned out for which I feel like I should have done better is exactly things working out for me because it's helped me to clarify with great definition much more definition of who I really am and what I really want can you feel how the path of least resistance is taking the sting out of that and putting the emphasis on this yeah that's good yeah yeah that's the fact that I manifested here I'm like oh wait I can do that you all are really interesting because you do want manifestations to which you can have a knee-jerk good feeling response and so when we're talking other than that you're not really having that much of it we know that what you really want is what you think you want and when you're in any moment not getting what you really think you want you want to throw a fit like a two-year-old would because you're not getting what you think you want and everything that we're saying even though it's leading you to what you want it's the path of least resistance it's what you knew coming in it's what you've come to know it's about the laws of the universe it's a practical workable experience it will work for you you'll get everything that you want still you'd rather just throw your fit about not having what you want right now but in time you'll start realizing the unproductiveness of the fit throwing and the productiveness of the trying to find a thought that feels better which is the path of least resistance you could get off the subject it's like on one end of the stick is what you want and on the other end of the stick is the absence of it but it's not just one stick it's a whole pile of sticks let's say there's a pile of sticks and let's say there's 10 sticks in the pile and therefore 10 different subjects but it's interesting and this goes to what we were saying earlier we haven't said this this way before do you have a vision of a stick with what's wanted on one end and the absence of what's wanted on the other and now can you see a bundle of sticks and what's wanted is on one end and the absence of what's wanted is on the other end got it really big bundle You've been gathering it up for quite a while some of it you were born with most of it you picked up along the trail after you got here on the I know what I don't want into the stick are all those subjects that we were talking about just for fun stay with us we're gonna label the sticks okay we're gonna label them with description about what they're about but we're not gonna put the label in the middle of the stick we're going to put the label on this end of the stick on the practical manifested functional end of the stick stay with us so we're going to put relationship on one of the ends of the stick and we're going to put money on one of them and career got any other sticks you want to label health any other house so it's obvious this can be a really big pile of sticks all those labels are on this end and on the other end is happy fulfilled satisfied alignment with inner being tuned in tapped in turned on 
So you pick up the stick called house, and on one end of it is house, and on the other end of it is happy. Now, can you feel the logic in it? What we're trying to bring you to is the distinction between this practical way you've been approaching life where you're approaching it by the subject. We're going to bring it home to you with this analogy. It's worth waiting for because <laughs> this is a concept that's going to free you. It's going to put you in a category of a very small percentage of humans that understand how the laws of the universe work. So it's worth this not quite getting it moment because you're about to get it. Let's say that you are around a table at a restaurant and there are four or five friends, all of you gathered together and someone brings up the subject of flat tires. And so almost all of you have a flat tire story to tell. So you do because the subject is flat tires. And then somebody brings up the subject of food poisoning. <laughs> and almost all of you have a story to tell because you're not sure if you really had food poisoning or if you had a bug, but you've almost all got a story to tell. And so if you are subject driven, like most of the world is, almost everybody could chime in on those stories. But if you are tuned in, tapped in, turned on driven, if you are alignment driven, then most of those stories, you wouldn't have anything to contribute. They're talking about flat tires. You're silent. You're looking out the window. What are you thinking? I'm just counting the airplanes as they go by. <laughs> oh, you're not paying attention to what we're talking about. What were you talking about? <laughs> so are you subject driven? Do you join a conversation because of its subject value? Like most of the world does, or do you join a conversation because of its vibrational content? If you are vibrational content driven, then you are aware of your inner being. And if you join a conversation because it is a conversation that connects you with your source energy, now you are experiencing the enormous power of non-resisted thought. Now you really have something to contribute to this conversation. Now everyone who is there benefits from you being part of this conversation. And most of all, you're going to enjoy yourself in the conversation. And we don't mean that you should correct them or that you should make them understand the error of their ways. We don't mean any of that. We just mean that we want you to start approaching life, not by subject matter, but by the way it feels because every one of those sticks on the other end of it has enlivenment, has interest, has focus, has power, has agility, has satisfaction. In other words, every one of those sticks has such power on the other end of it. If you can get away from the details of the subject that have sort of trapped you in a trend of vibration that is not serving you. Does that make sense to you in the early days? We hardly ever used the word God unless one of you used the word because God is on that end of the stick. God's let you down. God is unfair in blessings. God is hard to understand. God is spoken in lots of different ways by lots of different people. God is a confusing word. So we talk about alignment and upliftment and happy and source and joy and we're talking about the vibrational content not the subject that takes you down the rabbit hole into places that you don't want to go so we're getting there you're getting the sense of what we're talking about every single subject is a subject that will gather lots of people around the subject but it's also a subject that billions of people for so many generations that you can't even count them all have been living and have been sifting and sorting and who have created a vibration vibrational non-physical version of it and there's power in what all of those people have contributed to this universal collective consciousness vortex that you can tap into if you stay off the subjects that take you down the rabbit hole where almost all the other people go make sense so stay off the subject say again stay off the subject get alignment well you could call it divorce or oh, a fantastic opportunity for expansion. You could call it abandonment or you could call it freedom. <laughs> you could call it betrayal or you could call it things are always working out for me, even when I can't see it. 
because your inner being has an attitude and an opinion a very specific oh, law-based generationally gathered emphasis and power on every single subject that you think about so we're just asking you do you want to think about it from the mundane petty let's sort everything into piles and compete with each other or do you want to join the stream of consciousness that all of those experiences have accomplished and created do you want to be in your true power do you want to get your power from the source or do you want to get it from those who have pinched it all off but have an opinion about where it might be <laughs> you see what we're getting at mm. we liked that Okay. Enough? Okay. What are you thinking about? Relationships, empowerment. What are you thinking about? Business, invincibility. What are you thinking about? Problems, solutions. It's pretty easy to find your way there, yes? Well, yeah, talking to you it is. Out in the real world, it gets <laughs> more complicated. Yeah, but you can practice it until it's really easy for you. That's yeah, what we want to do yeah. here. Practice it. Exactly, yeah.